discussion about the follow-up administrative regulations for this policy, and that's why I'm asking to uh, uh, allow enough time to take a look at this. There's no, there's, uh, unless there's, a, there's an urgency about this that we have to act on it tonight. So if there's no such urgency, then it's better to err on the side of caution and given the potential for liability, and I've urged that we postpone this uh, until the, the next meeting. Okay, please vote. No. We're voting on the postponement no. of yeah, no. Okay. this item. No. Yes. No. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes a two-thirds vote, doesn't it? No, that's the simple majority and the motion fails. Okay, so the motion fails. Now we go back to the original motion. Adopt policy. Yes, adopting the police, the, the uh, district police department. This policy was presented for the first reading of the meeting. So this is a new policy. So we're voting on this policy. Do I hear a motion? It's already been moved and seconded. It's now back to discussion. Okay. Or it's back to discussion then. Call the question. Okay. Please vote. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. The motion passes, right? Okay. Madam President, just one point of clarification. Okay. Is it the board's direction that I provide uh, an opinion letter relative to the liability issues emanating from the inclusion of the phrase or year? Yes, okay. thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, that actually was uh, not only the fact that the liability is uh, involved in the enforcement of, uh, of uh, non professional college related laws. Thank you, Ari. Now, on item 20, Southwestern College Self Study, that's an enclosure. Recommend approval of Southwestern College's self study presented to the board for the first meeting on May 21, 2009. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Discussion? Please vote. Yes. Yes. Aye. Yes. Aye. And aye. All right, motion passes, I'll say aye. Number 21, task force for firing range. And we have a speaker, Mr. Request, would like to speak on this item. Mr. Request, would you like to speak on this item? Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Ray Lutz. I'm a citizens oversight at ORG. <laughs> Um, I want to um, congratulate the board for actually putting this on the agenda. Um, I think we're moving in that direction already. Um, Veronica had to leave, but she's done a, a lot of work, as we saw, in the direction to laying the groundwork for the investigation of the task force. I also know that, that Dr. Lisa Curtin of the City College uh, Military um, Training Program and wants to be involved in this, um, as does the um, uh, I know Bob Filner and Ben Place are all on board, so I think this is going to be successful, and I, I uh, want to thank you for doing so. With the caveat that I don't want this, and sometimes it's a method of postponing any work at whatsoever by setting up the task force that just um, uh, delays things. And I'd like to um, encourage the board to um, take advantage of some of the other free shooting ranges that we've, <coughs> we've discovered uh, that we can uh, take advantage of right away and get out of the contract with, uh, with Blackwater slash Z. I won't take any more of your time, thank you. Thank you. Okay, then this item 21 is pursuant to the board's request to recommend approval of formation of a task force to explore the firing range for the police academy to be utilized in regional community colleges and further appoint a board represent
of any decision on one, on any one board member. So I would say that we should be involved to the degree that the board should have discussions relevant to what the goals and objectives are, who's going to be on the committee. Um, um, and uh, and uh, and at some point in this discussion, I'd like to uh, direct the superintendent if, when we get to the point of uh, deciding whether we want to do this, to actually call uh, new superintendent presidents or presidents from the neighboring community colleges as I expect them to be that they would want to be on the task force as well or any agencies that would uh, have um, pertinent uh, information or opinions about uh, the availability of uh, providing and treatment for our students. So a lot of things I just said there, but basically the, the, my, my whole um, request would be that this is a shared, uh, at least to the degree of, that the board gets together and determines where we're going with this. Uh, and then at that point, let one of the board members uh, carry the ball. Thank you. Any other comments? <coughs> yeah. Um, I just want to say not only do I love the idea of this task force, but aside from just having a board member represented, I would ask to either have myself or another appointed student also be on that task force as this is an issue that will affect our students, especially those in the police academy, and I think it would be appropriate to have one of us on there as well. Mr. Uh, my suggestion is that uh, we not have uh, board representative on this task force, but have the uh, give task force the uh, um, responsibility to look into the issues and come back uh, for a presentation from the entire board. Uh, I, I do think that it's important to have student representation, um, not necessarily from just Southwestern College because it is a regional issue, uh, uh, but because of the importance of this matter to the entire board, I, I agree with Mr. Dominguez that it may, uh, would be a, um, um, a, to, uh, it would be better to have the, uh, whatever information <coughs> the, the, the idea of having a student, and obviously I think since you're on the board, it should probably be you. I would also recommend that Veronica, from the, um, who did the presentation, also be on the committee. I mean, she seems to have done a lot of good work. And um, I would also strongly recommend that we have, because this is a regional, that maybe each one of the different community colleges, especially those that have police academies, also be part of it. Originally, you know, I had thought one of us board members should be involved, but if the board wants to all of us be involved, then, then there would be a task force that would give a presentation to the board. So I don't have a problem with that. Yes. Any other comments? Oh, we should have some leadership in that group, so that every degree lets that we don't want to just die or to have a task force formed and then nothing gets done for months and months. So um, if we need to have a board member on that, then I would recommend that we have a board member. Um, yeah, I guess my question would be in um, the committee members that the task force, who, who are all involved? I mean, we could go ahead and ask um, the other community colleges um, that can be part of it, but if they don't, if they don't want to, um, specifically given with all the um, uh, budget situations that we are all encountering. So I, I guess my question would be, who do we uh, want to uh, identify for this task force, um, and how do we go about it so we can know who all is going to be in the committee? I mean, we can go ahead and you know, include all these individuals specifically, um, the other entities, but uh, we have to invite them first and we have to decide how many, so on and so on. So we need to be able to make a clear um, clarification as to how we want this task force to be. Maybe it could be for another meeting. Mr. And this is why I was suggesting that we um, have some discussion as a board 
to outline the parameters uh, for how we um, want to go about this so it's, so it's fair and equitable to both sides, basically, but, but ultimately so that the uh, students at Southwestern College get the best deal uh, going. Uh, so I, I am, again, suggesting that as that we work on establishing the parameters, uh, uh, be, be it the goals, uh, the objectives, the members on the committee, and some direction to Dr. Chopra to uh, query other institutions and that sort of thing, um, and come up with those uh, so that we can have a viable committee. I agree. Through the chair. Uh, as you, you will recall that uh, when I uh, tried to br uh, bring this up at, at the last meeting, I mentioned the uh, uh, appropriateness of going to the uh, Sedeca, uh, San Diego County, San Diego Imperial County uh, Community College Association, as the uh, uh, regional body that represents all community colleges, and to, and to channel um, the invitation through Sedeca because you have representation in that group from uh, all the presidents, as I understand it, of the community colleges participating chancellors. And you have uh, uh, representations from each of the uh, boards of each of the community colleges. So that's why I suggested that we uh, look to that body uh, for uh, a representative or representatives to the task force. It certainly makes sense that uh, those campuses that have uh, police academies or military training academies should should be involved. With, uh, again, I I would uh, ask that we uh, let uh, President Chopra uh, uh, follow through uh, on the actual um, um, contact. And uh, again, that uh, even though I think it's important to have a student, uh, in, I don't know if there's a the equivalent of a, of a regional uh, ASO, uh, but if there isn't. Uh, uh, then at least the Southwestern College student to, to, to provide that perspective. But otherwise, I think uh, there's no reason why. Uh, it, it, if, if the major reason that we're asking a board member to be there is to try to push it along, first I, I worry about that because that implies that the president is not going to uh, do his due diligence, and I, I, I believe that he will. Uh, secondly, uh, I, I think we can remedy that by asking that there be periodic reports uh, 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 to make to the board on the, on the uh, progress of the task force. And that we put it on a monthly agenda uh, uh, for uh, an update on the status of the, uh, of the report. Uh, so that way we as a board uh, uh, have an opportunity to see what progress and where things are going without having that uh, 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 one board member be burdened with that responsibility, and the rest of us uh, getting things secondhand. Yes, um, I'm actually glad you said that about a regional ASO or something like that. I am currently <coughs> the re one of the two Region 10 senators for the statewide student senate, and I'm starting my second term right now. So, if it came to regional represent representation of students on this task force, that's my job already. I already represent all nine schools in the region, so. I can easily fill that spot. Excellent. Any other comments? Well, I would like to say that um, I like Dr. Dominguez's um, suggestion. My concern is that this that Southwestern College doesn't become a political football. And, and I, I see that a lot of the people that have been mentioned on this committee already have very stringent ideas, and I think that if we can can have a a um, a committee that can see both sides and prevent both present both sides of it, so far it's been one sided, and I've worked very hard to keep another side out of this uh, discussion. As you recall, it's really been one-sided, and maybe people that come to discuss this at our board meetings, and I have told other people not to come because I don't want this to become a political football, and I don't want Southwestern College to become involved in any kind of political things that, and any political person on, the, on this committee, I think that they should not be on the committee. I think that we should keep this to community and students and, and work from that end of it as well. With all the respect, uh, uh, Dr. Roche, 
there, there are no this side and that side on this issue. So, yeah. well, there certainly has been. Well, much so. in, this, in this boardroom, it has been. I think, well, uh, there was, there, there are sides on the issue of the MOU with Blackwater. And, but that, this is not that. In fact, one of the major objectives of the task force is to get us out of that controversy by establishing uh, a, a, a facility that is operated uh, by and for community college programs. Uh, now, the, the fact that we have uh, Congressman Filner is, is key because funding for such a facility would, uh, uh, would be facilitated uh, with that representation. Uh, uh, but I, uh, uh, so in terms of the, the, the politics, uh, I, I, there was, certainly they shouldn't be, uh, we should avoid partisan politics if that is uh, uh, your concern. But that was not uh, behind the, the, this, this uh, motion. Uh, in fact, quite the opposite. And so I, I uh, would, would uh, point that uh, out to the board that this is, uh, again, trying to get away from that partisan discussion, that two-sided discussion, that adversarial uh, context in which that was created by the Blackwater MOU, and put it in a, in a, in a deliberate, uh, nonpartisan uh, uh, context of trying to create a facility that uh, all community colleges can use without uh, all, all of the uh, baggage that was, that was raised. All right, now, where are we? I'm going to point out to you you've reached the end of the time that yes. you've uh, set aside for extending the meeting. Okay. Move approval of extending the meeting to 11 o'clock. Oh. <laughs> Did I hear approval? Need a second. Second. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm not second. You need a second. Okay. And then we shall go to 11 o'clock. No, 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 that's correct, Madam Chair. Clarification that in that in that case, do the items that were not taken uh, get uh, rolled over for the next meeting? This is bizarre. That's, that's correct, Trustee. Uh, motion that is not disposed of is pending at the time of adjournment automatically appears on the next agenda as unfinished business. Excuse me, what?